Kubernetes, there are different probes available to check if a pod is in a good state. One is a liveness probe and the other is a readiness probe. The liveness probe is responsible for restarting a pod if it reaches its threshold. And the readiness probe is responsible for marking the pod ready or not ready to receive incoming traffic. There's also a startup probe, which if one of these is configured, the liveness and readiness probes are disabled until it succeeds. For a DX portal deployment, these probes are utilized for each type of pod. In this video, I'm going to focus on the liveness and readiness probes for the core pod specifically. Now first, I'll take a look at the official Kubernetes doc that describes these probes and their configurations. Link in the description below. For these probes, there are different methods or protocols that can be used, such as HTTP, TCP, or even custom scripts. But what I'm more concerned with about the probes is the configuration fields. So in this doc, there is a section on configuring probes that defines the probes fields. Now you can read and understand each field, but the two fields I want to focus on is the period seconds and the failure threshold. Normally, these are the ones that you should be most concerned with because these can lead to a pod being marked not ready or restarted altogether, depending on the probe. So to understand how these probes work, let's see them in action. Now, I currently have a DX Helm deployment already up and running. As you can see, all my pods are in a ready state and I have two core pods configured. To see the current probe configurations, we can run the kubectl describe pod on one of the core pods. As you can see, the period seconds is set to 30 for both my readiness and liveness pod. And the failure threshold is set for two for readiness and four for liveness. So what does this mean? This means that the probe will run every 30 seconds and after two failures or a minute, it will be marked not ready. After four failures or two minutes, the whole pod will be restarted. Now there's a 10 second timeout here, so it'll be slightly over one and two minutes, but not by much. For Helm DX deployments, the probes are configured to use scripts that basically hit portals to see if a response is received. So to see how this works, we can simulate that scenario by bringing down portal. So in my deployment, I'll open up a session to one of my core pods and shut down portal. Now, if I check the pods, I can see a minute has already passed, so the core pod is already marked as not ready. Now, if we wait a minute, the liveness probe will kick in and we didn't actually see it, but the pod was restarted. As we can see, the number of restarts has increased. At this point, I'll just, it'll just follow the normal process and will be marked ready when portal is up. Now that I've demonstrated how these probes work, let's see how we configure them. On a DX Helm deployment, the configurations are done via the value.yaml or, or your custom copy of that file. In this file, there's a section specifically for probes. Each pod has their own configurations, which you can customize. The core configuration is here. As you can see, you can set custom values for each field of all the probes for the core pod. Now, during the time of this recording, DXCTL has been deprecated. However, if you happen to be running a DX deployment using DXCTL, you would use the properties file to set your custom values for the probes as seen here. These are the for the core readiness probe and for the liveness probe. Now you're probably wondering what these values should be set to. If you don't really know, then you should probably stick with the defaults. But if you want a more or less proactive pro behavior, you can customize as you see fit. One very important thing I want to mention is there are times when you need to bring down portal to run a configuration test. For example, when you perform a database transfer. During the database transfer task, portal is down and the task can take longer than a few minutes to complete. Both the readiness and liveness probes come into play here. First, 
If the readiness probe fails and you're using the configuration wizard, then the pod will be marked as not ready and you will no longer uh, be able to access the configuration wizard. Next, if the liveness probe fails during the transfer, the pod will be restarted midway through the transfer and portal will probably be in a bad state since the task is not complete. As of CF198, there currently is no built-in feature to detect this scenario. So before performing any tasks that require you to stop portal, you should adjust the probes accordingly. For example, on my DX Helm-based deployment, I can increase my period seconds to 60 or one minute, then increase the failure threshold to 60 for an hour or 120 for two hours. You can set these values as high as you want, but just remember to reset the values back after you complete your tasks. To apply these changes, you would run the Helm upgrade command with the updated custom values YAML file. If you're using DXCTL, you would update the properties file and run the DXCTL update command with the new properties file. After running the appropriate command, you will see the core pod or pods if you have multiple will get recreated. You can verify the change by using the kubectl describe pod command. Also, in case you missed it, you can see messages regarding the probes from the describe pod command. This concludes this video on understanding Kubernetes probes for a DX deployment, specifically the core pod.